Hey y'all, so I'm starting on freshly washed and blow dried hair. And to start off the parting, I'm starting with the front section of my head. So I'm going in with the middle part. And then I like to create a part going towards both of my ears. And that's kind of how I section off the front from the back. And I try to make these two front sections as even and equal as possible, but honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put the braids up when we're done. All right, so now that we have the front separated from the back, I'm just going to put the back away for now and we're gonna focus on parting the front. So I like to alternate between the right and the left sides when I'm making my rows for the parts. So first I'm making the first row on my right side and then I'll make the same row on the left side and just alternate between both sides until I'm done with the front. And again, as I'm making my rows, I'm trying to keep them equal, but it doesn't have to be too precise or too perfect because they're gonna go up. But on each side in the front, I had five rows total. All right, so again, I have five rows on the left, five rows on the right, and now we're gonna work on the back. So for the rows in the back, I tried to make them pretty much the same size as the rows in the front. For this first row, I swore it was straight, but now that I see it wasn't all that straight, but again, it's okay. And I did four braids for this row. I went ahead and finished the back off camera. It was a pretty repetitive process. I just tried to keep all the rows pretty much the same size. And now moving on to the front. So for that first row that's closest to my ear, I did two braids. And then for the second row, I also did two braids and I'm also using edge booster, but you can use, you know, an edge control or gel of your choice um, just to make the parting and the braids look a little bit more neat. And now we're on to the third row and I did three braids for this row.
and unfortunately my camera had died so I didn't get those last two rows but I did four braids on both of those rows. And to finish it off I did the same exact braid pattern on the other side. And now we're moving on to the next part which is crocheting in the hair. I really thought that I had this right side up but regardless it's the Organique water curl and I got the 18 inches and you're also going to need a crochet hook. So as you saw, I cut off a small piece of the hair and we're gonna use that and crochet it into our braid. So if you don't know how to crochet, it's pretty easy. First, you wanna make sure the hook is open and then you're gonna slide it into the braid. Then you're gonna latch on the strand of hair that we cut out, close the hook and slide it back through the braid. So at this point, you should have the loop of the hair poking out through the braid. And all you do is pull the rest of the hair through the loop and make basically a knot. So I'm basically just repeating this process all throughout my head. For each braid, I'm crocheting in a piece of the hair. And you'll see for some braids, I crochet in two pieces of the hair because you want the bun or ponytail to be super full. So here's just an example of a braid where I crocheted in two pieces of hair instead of one. Okay, so now this is the part where I create my little bun. I like to leave braids out in the front and off to the side because I like to pin those up out the way, which you'll see later. But for now, we're just gonna make the bun. So this part can be a bit tricky because you're gonna get a lot of the braids like sticking up and stuff. So you're gonna have to keep tucking them in under the scrunchie. So just take your time with this part so that you get your bun exactly how you like it. So once I do my bun, I like to take those braids that I left out in the front and bring them to the side and I just start bobby pinning them um, to create that little swoop effect. And then for the pieces of the braids that are like hanging out in the back, I just bobby pin those up towards the bun to make it look like it's a part of the ponytail. And then here, I just realized my bun wasn't as full as I had wanted it to be. So if that's the case for you, then just crochet in more of the organic hair into those braids that are sticking out. And then this part, I'm just redoing those braids in the front because I wanted it not too much on my face, but not too far back either. So if you're doing this as well, it might take you some time to get it how you want it exactly. So just use those bobby pins. And then I personally like it if a curly piece or two is hanging out of the bun. I think that's really cute. All right, so this is our final look. I actually added more hair to the bun like off camera, um, but this is what we're looking like. And this is actually before I went into work and I'm just doing my edges and making everything look nice. I think this is such a cute and easy hairstyle. It only took me about three to four hours and it's really good for your hair if you're not trying to have too much synthetic hair rubbing against your actual hair. Um, this is definitely a great alternative. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, beneficial. I actually love doing hair videos, so I need to get back at it. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.